Hey everybody, Dan Lippert here again. In this video I'm going to show you how to use the included AR MIDI tool or the AR DJ MIDI tool to make your MIDI assignments in a, something like Ableton Live so that you can use AR DJ and have it interact with your software of choice. So the first thing we're going to do is load up Terminal and the included app is a command line tool. Let's see, where is it? RTJ test folder. So, we're going to start it like it's a Unix command with a dot slash and an AR MIDI tool. And that brings up our little menu here enter a MIDI command and some instructions. So as you can see in the back, I have Ableton running. And the first thing you want to do is go to Preferences and make sure that you see the ARDJ Quick MIDI tool right here. You're going to want to track it, which I believe receives note commands, not quite sure, and remote it, which receives control change commands, CC commands. I believe that's what they do. Anyway, let's go back to our terminal here, and we see the directions. So we're going to our MIDI, MIDI mappings, select our first our first uh, clip here. Actually, let's start up the uh, our launcher here, and uh, we'll use let's see let's use uh, we use marker marker eight. So we click marker eight. And we see the note assignments, and you can change all these. You know, if you try to change it to something crazy, that's not going to work. But for the most part, you know, the defaults are just fine, and they're all spread out nicely. Um, anyway, so we've got 28, 29, 30, and 31. So we'll just go ahead and assign all those using the, the MIDI tool here. So you click the clip you want, and then uh, we'll say note 28. And it'll send a note on command to Ableton note note 28, which is uh, E octave zero. I'll click the next one, go back, note 29, click again, note 30, click again, note 31. And it's a little bit time consuming. But if you have a MIDI keyboard, you could do it that way. And uh, if and you only have to do this once, really, just map them all out. I've, I already have it mapped out in a blank Ableton file. Just map out all the the markers and the the MIDI mappings, and then drop whichever clips you want in there. So you really only have to do it once. Um, so we've got a little effect over here. We got our EQ. So let's assign something to that filter suite. So we see we've got CC15 and CC16, our X and Y axis. So let's assign our frequency to CC15. And it'll send a control change 15 to there. And how about the resonance on CC16? Sounds good. And then if you want the clips to stop when you take away the marker, just click this little stop button that'll stop everything in that in that column and see we have a note off 100 so that means when we when that marker is not present it's going to send out a it's actually a note a note on and note off command to note 100 so note 100 and then that's fully mapped for that for that column our jungle drum and uh, let's see if it works Make sure our path is set up, as always. I like to turn down the sensitivity a little bit. Um, pretty much the higher the sensitivity, the more error checking it's going to do before it sends out a, a note on. So if you keep it really high, it's going to want to see that marker for a long time. If you keep it low, it's going to only take a couple verifications on that marker, a couple video frames of verification. But if you, if you want a quick response, set it low, but you might get some jitter. You might get some incorrect identification so um, 30 is probably 
pretty good. A hundred's definitely overkill, but uh, anyway, let's see if it if it runs. Oh, yep, it's enabled. Okay, and let me get that card out. Oh, there's me. I've got a another camera hooked up. Oh, let's see my Diet Pepsi. And uh, hit OK. And when we toss out that marker, if I can find it, it should trigger. I had this problem before. It's because I have too many lights on in the room. And there it goes. So the key is not to have a lot of light, but to have kind of even light. So there was a, a ceiling light shining down on it pretty directly. Uh, so that was confusing it. And there you go. If we twist it, it should trigger one of the other clips. And if we move it, we should get some of that. Those control changes on. That's it.